time to look back on two years of COVID and the devastation it left us. Thanks for joining us tonight for 7 News at 5. I'm Catherine Guyon. And I'm Taylor Long. While the virus is still around, our national conversation has moved on to other pressing topics. The WVU Medicine still wants to talk about what we can learn from our region's massive response. 7 News reporter Colin Roos went to their conference today at the Highlands and is live to tell us their version for a, or their vision rather, for a post-pandemic world. Colin. Taylor, our response to the last two years made waves that are still rippling through society. What is the role of government? What are the utility of mandates? And how do we interact with each other in healthy ways? These are all open questions that coronavirus has forced us to discuss. And today's COVID conference provided a starting point with the people who worked the hardest to fight it off. We've been through the fear, the uncertainty, the pain, and the relief of declining numbers. Now it's time for some reflection. WVU Medicine's Wheeling and Reynolds Memorial Hospitals hosted a COVID conference for medical professionals who saw its destruction firsthand. And it wasn't just nurses and doctors. Supply chain experts, local officials, and first responders were all part of the conversation. We tried to represent all of the people that were at the table that learned lessons uh, all along the way. Their challenges and their triumphs were all discussed in a day-long seminar at the Highlands Event Center. They covered statistics and the timeline of the health response in those critical early days, and they even touched on the nursing fatigue and burnout that was so common. Dr. Kappel says he sees the quick rollout of vaccines as one of the biggest accomplishments. Looking back on it, a lot faster than anybody believed it could happen, um, so that's great. As for what didn't go perfectly, he says communication could have been better both locally and statewide. The human resources were also a struggle, with the pandemic making the nursing shortage far worse. He says just about everyone there is sure of one thing, COVID won't completely leave our lives for the time being. So how do we move forward with it? We can continue the vaccine and booster regimen to make it more manageable, but it also means work outside of the doctor's office. We'll all have to consider the ways the virus reshaped our lives and learn from them so we can fearlessly face down the next health crisis. This pandemic was just not a health care issue. This was an issue for all the population in the country. Dr. Kappel says hospitals still don't have enough nurses even now and that we need to fill those positions as fast as education will allow. Live in the 7 News studio, I'm Colin Roos, working for you.